This is Pav Bamber here for PSB Sports. I'm with Tyson Fury versus Vladimir Klitschko to press conference here in London. As you can see, I'm joined by trainer of the heavyweight champion himself, Mr. Peter Fury. How are you, Peter? Yeah, good. Good, thanks. Great to see you. Obviously, Peter, we know why Tyson hasn't turned up, but can you just explain to the fans as to why, why he was um, unable to come today? I believe uh, his car was broken on the motorway, wasn't it? Yeah, he just had difficulties. He, he was coming this morning and uh, he couldn't make it, so... You know, that's the reason he said something's happened with the car and he can't, can't make it. I can't elaborate any more than that. No problem. Um, Peter, also, uh, first press conference in Manchester was a while ago now. Uh, Vladimir, quite a bullish a attitude there. You know, we heard him swore f swear for the first time. You know, he was very bullish. What did you make of his attitude today and his body language and the way he was coming across? I don't make anything of it. What I, what I do make is uh, the fight to 29th of October and uh, both guys need to get it on. It's been a long time in the making, this fight. Mm. It's took longer than what it should have done. And uh, we're happy to just get it on and get the fight out of the way. Obviously, no, I spoke, interviewed Tom Loeffler a bit earlier. He said that Vladimir is going to do something completely different in this fight. He said that he basically pretty much said he will let his hands go. And obviously, you've touched upon that as well in the press conference. Our team Fury and yourselves are preparing for a different Klitschko. Klitschko that's going to let his hands go and you know do something completely different that we haven't seen before. Yeah, sure. And he has to do. Otherwise, he's not winning, is he? So basically, that's what it is. So he knows. Like I said in the uh, press conference, yeah. it's uh, there's no hidden agendas, there's no secrets. Uh, Vladimir has to do something totally different if he's got a chance at beating Tyson. He knows that, and uh, it's Tyson's job to uh, to accommodate what he brings, and I believe he can. Also, Peter, Box Nation have officially launched their box office channel. That that's going to be great for the f uh, fighters financially, and obviously that's going to go out to 12 million Sky customers. A real great thing for Box Nation and for the fight itself. I think it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant for Box Nation, uh, Sky. It's, it's, it's good news all round, and even better so. The, f the, the public doesn't have to pay any more money, so it doesn't get any better, and they can access it from the red button, so it's easy, isn't it? So it's, uh, I think it's fabulous news for Box Nation. It, uh, it puts them on another level. Obviously, Peter, now with Huey Fury, has always been announced a huge fight against Andy Ruiz. You know, is that, that is going to be his toughest opponent today. How excited are you about that opportunity, and is Huey relishing it as well? I'm excited. He's relishing it as well. He's uh, through all of his uh, problems. Um, he's in training and uh, looking forward to this fight. Uh, he's looking to prove to people, to show exactly what he's about. And he wants to be known as a fighter that's not ducking anybody, not having easy routes, easy fights. So uh, he's, uh, he's up against it. It's no, by no means any foregone conclusion. So, um, but look, if you want to be the best, you know, take on the best. Finally, Peter, um, domestically as well, We've got loads of heavyweights, David Price, Dillian White, Huey Fury, Tyson, Joshua's. 2017, Peter, do you think we can see them all clash, notably Fury and Joshua, Huey and Joshua, so on and so forth? Because these are the, the domestic British blockbusters of the, of, of the fights the fans really want to see. I think sure, you know, I think uh, they've got to fight sooner or later, all of them. They're all in the mix, they're all in the heavyweight division. This is boxing, it's a professional sport. But, um, you know, look, the best of luck to all the guys, you know, it's what it is. The better man will win on the night. I don't like the politics. Mm. I give a fair view in as I see where fighters are at the present time. And uh, that's, that's what we see. So anything can happen in boxing. But sure, Huey's got, we're not looking beyond Andy Ruiz Jr. This is Huey's world title fight in Andy Ruiz Jr. Huey gets past Andy Ruiz Jr. Huey's going to be a, f a world champion, no doubt. So this, for me, is Huey's world title leap. Because it's a big, big test. And he's fighting somebody that hasn't just got a belt. He's fighting somebody that's coming to win. Uh, he fought just the other day. He's now 29 and 0, 22 knockouts. He's the right age. He's 28. This guy can fight. He can go to distance. He's got fast stands. He can punch, and he's tough. So he ticks all the boxes. So Yui's got his work cut out. But I believe here uh, we're going to see exactly what Yui's about, and uh, I believe he can come through it. Finally, Peter, on the weekend, obviously we saw Gennady Golovkin defeat Kell Brook um, in five rounds. Firstly, Peter, what did you make of the fight? And secondly. Um, he notably called out B.J. Saunas afterwards. And in your opinion, do you believe B.J. Saunas is the middleweight who has the best chance of beating Golovkin? Because that was something that was being said a lot um, on the you know, Facebooks, the Twitters yesterday, on social media. Yeah, I do, because Billy Joe's a world champion and uh, Golovkin wants the belts. That's why he's not really interested, I think, in anybody else at the moment. I give Billy Joe the best chance because you're not, gonna, you're not going to uh, do any good with Golovkin on power, clashing with him. You know, boxing is an art, it's a skill. If it was down to just power, then obviously we, the history books would be rewritten, wouldn't they? It's more than that. Boxing is an art, it is a skill. Box clever. 
So if anybody's got the, the beating of Triple G, it would be Billy Joe because the southpaw, he's a very, very astute boxer and he's got street toughness with him. So he's um, he's very durable. So he, you know, he wears his heart on his sleeve. You know, he's coming to win. You know, he wouldn't be... We know Billy Joe. He's not going to be overawed with Triple G. He'd love to get in there and prove everybody wrong. He's got that mentality. So if anybody can, he can. If he implores the right tactics, yes, very possible. But to try and meet Triple G head on, macho versus macho, anybody will come unstuck. That man has got to be beat by being boxed and outboxed. Nothing else. Peter Fury. Um, oh, sorry, finally, quick word on Smith Canelo on the weekend, Peter. Again, you know, these guys are fighting the elites of the world. So, you know, don't ask me who's going to win because obviously you've got to favour Canelo. But, you know, Smith is going to do a lot better than people think he's going to do. And there's always a possible upset because he's got two arms and two, two legs like anybody else. So I see a good fight. Smith teak tough. He's aggressive. And uh, he's had an excellent training camp as well. He's got the best of uh, team around him, best of corners. You know, so it's all there. So we could see something here. So who knows? Fury, I want to say thank you so much for your time once again. I wish you all the best for the fight on the 29th of October, and hopefully we can see you soon. All the best with Huey as well.